Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial on using class based interceptors in Angular 18. I am Ayaz Afar and today we will dive into this powerful feature that can help you manage HTTP requests and responses more effectively in your Angular applications. Before we jump into the code, let's quickly recap what interceptors are. Interceptors are way to intercept HTTP requests and responses in your Angular app. They allow you to modify or handle these requests and responses globally. Common use cases include adding headers, handling errors and logging. So I assume that you already have Angular installed and running in your browser. Once it's ready, let's proceed. First of all, we need to generate an interceptor. So open a new terminal tab in your root directory of your project. Okay, now we will generate the interceptor for that run the command ng generate interceptor. And here I would like to use a flag. Let me show you. So if you open the documentation, go to the latest documentation and on the right side, you will see all of the options. So by default, it uses the so if you go to the interceptor, by default, it uses the functional interceptor. But as we want to use the class based interceptor, so for that we will have to set the value of functional to false. So let's copy the name of this parameter and add this flag in this way functional false. And here we will put the name of the interceptor that is auth press enter. It has generated the interceptor. Let's go to there. And here you would notice that our interceptor is now class based interceptor instead of functional interceptor. So now we will proceed and add our implementation here. First of all, I need to generate a service ng generate s auth press enter. It would generate the auth service for us go to that service. So in that service, I will cre create a function get auth token and this will return our token to us. For now, I'm just returning a dummy token just to give you understanding how this workflow will work. Now in the auth interceptor, first of all, we need to inject the auth service. So for that add private auth service, this is the name of the property and this is the service. Make sure to add the import statement from the auth service. Once we have the auth service, we need to get the auth token. So within this function here, I will create a constant auth token is equal to this dot auth service dot get auth token. So this will return me the auth token and we have saved it in this variable. Now, next thing is that we have to clone our request. So for that, we will simply create a constant with the name auth request and we will clone the request by calling the clone function on that request. And that clone function will expect an object as the first parameter. And within that, I will pass the property headers and we will use request.headers.set function. And within that, we have passed the two parameters. First is the name of the header and second one is the value of that header. That is bearer, the token that we got from the service. And next, this time, instead of returning this request, we should return the new request that we just cloned. Now what is happening here is that whenever this interceptor would be used, whenever we will use the HTTP request in every HTTP request, this token would automatically be added in the headers for every request. Okay. Now it's time to register the interceptor for that. Go to the app.config.ts and here we have to add an object in the providers array. So here I will add the object and that will have the property provide and here we will use the class HTTP interceptors. And now here I will add the property use class and then pass the interceptor that we just created. That is auth interceptor. Make sure to add the import statement from this path. And after that, we'll pass another property multi true. Okay, save it. Now it's time to quickly test it. But before that, I need to generate another component with the name ng generate component test. Okay, you can name it anything else if you want to. Okay, the component has been generated. Now open this component. And here we will add some piece of code like first of all, I will create a property response is equal to empty string. And then I will create a constructor that will inject the HTTP client make sure to add the import statement for that. Actually, I need to add the implements on 
init. Now we need to add this function ng on init. And now I will use this dot HTTP dot get and we need to pass the URL where we want to URL of the API that we want to hit. So for that, I'm simply using this endpoint. So here I will use to do slash one. And this is a dummy JSON placeholder that is free to use. You can also try it out if you want to just test out some functions of your Angular project. Now I have called the get function that gave me the observable. I have subscribed to that. And within that function, we will write our logic. First thing is that we will use the data. This dot response is equal to JSON dot stringify. And we have given it the data that we got from the response of the API execution. Now we need to update the app dot component dot TS by importing that new component test component. Make sure to add the import statement like this. And now in the app component dot HTML, I will simply add app dash test and save it. Now, if you reload it, I got an error that is saying that no provider for HTTP client. So we need to provide the HTTP client as well. So go back to the app.config.ts and here we need to add a function provide HTTP client like that and make sure to add the import statement like this. Okay. Now you can see that our component content is visible, but we have to add the response variable here. Here I will add response variable like this. And you can see that the data that we fetched from the backend API is now visible here. Okay. Before testing it, another important thing that we must add in the app.config.ts as we are using dependency injection based interceptor. So for that, we must have to enable that for that. We have to pass a function within the provide HTTP client function with interceptors from DI. If you are using functional component, then you would use interceptors. But if you are using the interceptor with class, then you will use this option with interceptors from DI. Press enter. Make sure to import that function from the angular slash common slash HTTP. Save it. Now as this is enabled, so this interceptor would be considered now. Now open the inspect element and go to the network and reload it and click on this network request and go to the request headers that is here. And here you will find the header that we just added authorization bearer. This is the token. Okay. So in this way, it any header that you add in that interceptor would automatically be added in, in all of your requests automatically. So that's it. We have successfully created and used a class based interceptor in Angular. Remember, you can create multiple interceptors for different purposes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Angular tutorials.